Hello, Jeff Cowan here from Jeff Cowan's Pro Talk. Thank you for watching and listening, and hey, welcome back to my new video series called What I've Learned About Life and Business from Watching and Attending Over 35 Indy 500s. And today I'm back with lesson number 15, and here it is. You know, Gary Bettenhausen was part of the legendary fan favorite Bettenhausen Racing family. His dad raced in 12 Indy 500s in the late 1940s and 50s, dying in a practice crash at the track in 1955. Gary, the first of three racing sons of Tony's, was an instant fan favorite when he first came to Indy. He was a winner on smaller tracks and immediately was fast at Indy in his first four starts there. So fast, in fact, that in 1972, he caught the eye of a young Roger Penske and was selected to drive for Roger in 1972. It looked like a great choice as Gary led the 1972 race for 138 laps before his car failed and he finished 14th. His teammate, Mark Donahue, won the race that day. Clearly, Gary was driving on the greatest team he'd ever driven on at Indy. It was apparent to everyone that if you drove for Penske Racing, you had a shot to not only win at Indy, but on any racetrack. Problem was, Penske drivers were not allowed to drive midget, sprint, silver crown cars, or any type of car that raced on dirt tracks. Gary refused to agree to that. After all, this is where his family had made their name on the small dirt tracks in the Midwest. So, in 1974, while driving a silver crown car on dirt in New York, Gary was in a horrible crash that left his arm permanently paralyzed. Now, although he continued to drive race cars until 1996, in 1974 he was let go from Penske and never had another great car to drive at Indy. Looking back over his career after retiring from racing, Gary said it was the biggest regret and mistake in his life that he refused to change and do what Roger asked. Because where Roger had seen the role of race car drivers changing from that of a jack of all trades to a more of a specialist in a single discipline, Gary hung on to the past and was left in the past. Had Gary simply accepted change and continued to drive for Roger, one can only imagine what may have happened since Penske's teams won the Indy 500 nine more times between 1974 when Gary was first fired to 1996 to when he retired. Lesson learned, effectively manage change, expect change, embrace change, create change, change is good, change is growth, change is bound to happen. You cannot stop it and you cannot slow it down. If you fight change, you will be left behind and ultimately replaced to make room for the individual who can. Having the ability to be flexible and effectively manage change means you have the skills to survive. So go survive today, accept change. My name's Jeff Cowan from Jeff Cowan's Pro Talk. Thank you for watching and listening. I hope you enjoyed this lesson number 15 and I'll be back tomorrow with lesson number 16 and I'll see you then.